Today we're at 2D Upper Bonking Road to show you a four-room HDB flat that is 969 square feet, beautifully renovated, super functional and a very, very nice and efficient layout. Let's take a look. Okay, Google, turn on entrance lights. So here we are at the unit. Uh, like I said earlier on, this is a 969 square feet, four room flat. And personally, I think it's a really, really super efficient layout and I will see why in a minute. But let's take our attention to my right here. This is a concealed bomb shelter. You can see it's very nicely concealed. You even have space to put your stuff here. And to my left, this is their open concept kitchen, right? One thing I really, really like about this kitchen is that the floor tiles in the dining room and uh, living room actually flow into the kitchen as well. So we have a congruent design style uh, in the home. The floor tiles are actually a wood look-alike ceramic tiles, meaning it's really, really easy to maintain and it looks good as well, right? If you want a good quality kitchen, everything you need is already here. For example, the quartz countertop, you have your a cooker hood and hob already inbuilt as well and also soft closing cabinetry right uh, also there's this window space uh, which allows you to actually ventilate the kitchen very well uh, and also you have a built-in oven as well as a space for their washer dryer here so everything you need is really good uh, but if you're wondering where do they dry their clothes because they don't have a yard in the house let me show you where they dry their clothes now this space may look like a normal empty space, but it actually hides a concealed uh, electric laundry drying system. And if I can show you, you can control it using this remote control. Uh, and it also actually has a UV disinfecting function. So after you have dried it, you have uh, done your laundry, everything, you can close up the whole thing like this as well and it's perfectly hidden from view, right? Really nice. And let's take a look at the living and dining room area. As you can see, the living dining area is really huge. Okay, you can comfortably fit a three-seater L-shaped sofa here and also a dining area at the back. Uh, originally, the owners had this dining area in the kitchen area, right? This can comfortably fit a six to eight-seater uh, because originally they had a home gym here. That's why you see the the mirrors here. So if you want to, you can convert it back into a home gym uh, or you can convert it into like a study corner, like a work from home setup. I think it's a really nice space here, right? Uh, enough about the living dining area. Let's take a look at the view. So from the living room window, you can see that there's a large block to block distance between yourself and your opposite neighbor. So you retain privacy in your unit, plus you get a good wind flow as well. We are facing a northeast direction here as well, so there's no west sun and it will be the same for all the rooms as well. So at the TV feature wall, you can see that there's ample storage built around the TV and also behind the TV. So if you're wondering where the cables are being stored at, it's actually behind the TV where there's ample storage space at the back also. There's also storage at the bottom at your TV console area. And just now at the entrance, right, uh, I demonstrated their smart home system, which you can use to control the lightings the ceiling fan and also the aircon as well. You can control them either through the app or have Google Assistant do it for you. So I think we are done with the living room area. Let's take a look at the rooms. Okay, Google, turn off living room. Let's go. Now, before we take a look at the rooms, let's take a look at this area first. Now, as you all know, corridor space is wasted space. And in this entire house, the only corridor space you will find is this small little area right here. So there's really minimal wastage of space and the majority of the space in the entire house is actually usable. Let's take a look at the rooms. So this is common room number one, a very large space. Actually, you can fit a king-size bed with two side tables and even a wardrobe space here very, very easily. There's absolutely no built-in in this common room. So you can actually let your imagination run free when you want to design this space. Now let's take a look at the common room number two. So this is common room number two. This is our child's room. Uh, the only built-in you will see is this wall-hung cabinetry, but it's actually screwed on. 
So it's very easy to remove if you really want to. Other than that, there's no other uh, renovation or built-in done here. So if you really want to do to your own liking, the kind of renovation that you would like, it's very easy to do as well. Let's take a look at the master bedroom next. So walking into the master bedroom, on my right, this is the ensuite bathroom. And then walking into the bedroom itself, you'll see that this is a big master bedroom. Again, you can easily fit a king size bed here with side tables. We actually have a study table over here. You can make a dresser as well if you really want to. And if you notice, the wardrobes here are actually not built in as well. So like the previous rooms, you can actually renovate this to your own liking without much hacking to be done in the room. Right, so overall, the unit is a really efficient unit that focuses in Reno on uh, functionality and simplicity. Coupled with smart home functions, this is really a move-in condition unit that doesn't need much work to be done. Uh, but I know you're curious about the location as well, so let's take a look. So in terms of its location, it's really, really convenient. You're really just three to five minutes walk away from Kalang MRT. Now, Kalang MRT is two stops away from Paya Lebar MRT, where you have PLQ Mall, you have the mall at Singpo Center, Kinex Mall. Uh, you're also two stops away from Bugis, uh, where you can do your shopping and also have your entertainment as well. You're three stops away to the CBD area also. So in terms of connectivity-wise, it's really, really convenient. You are a short cycle down to Kalang River and also a short cycle down to Singapore Indoor Stadium and Singapore Sports Hub. So you have your recreational activities covered. In terms of amenities and food, you have a bunch of good food found along Sims Avenue and Geylang Road shop houses. Now right across the street, there's Upper Boon Keng Market and Food Centre. And right beside it is a 24 hours Sheng Sheng Supermarket. Uh, however, if you want to just have a quick meal, most of your needs can be settled within the cluster itself as right below you, you have not one but two coffee shops. There's a 24 hours NTUC fair price, uh, many other shops like clinics, salons, hardware store, laundromat, etc. So if you're interested in taking a look at the unit, give us a call, drop us a DM and we'll arrange a viewing for you immediately. This is Louis from Look Prop, and I'll see you in the next home tour. Bye!